Hello, team builder. In setting up the house trap or the bungee box, the first thing you're going to do is assemble the arms. You're going to need one of the arms. You're going to need a T connector. You're going to need an extension. And you're going to need a 45. You basically set up each arm like this. And then we're going to lay them out an octagon pattern on the ground, which we'll kind of speed through next. All right, so eight arms, T, extension, 45. Okay, once you have all the arms laid out, we're going to connect them together, and then we're going to add the legs. So this will be that speed through part that I'll put everything together without the bungee cord at this point in time. Once the frame is up, get it nice and solid. Push all the joints together, pull or push the legs in. Don't push it down on the ground because it could pick up some dirt. Then I'm going to string using your snap links and your bungee cord, I'm gonna string a square grid pattern throughout the, the octagon. Now I start with a square grid pattern. I start from the second eye bolt from the side. So not the first one, you holes will be too small, you don't need to use them. So go to the second one, and then I'm going to go down, across, up, across, and down. So it's a square grid pattern, and I'm going to put this other end through the eye bolts. It takes a little maneuvering to get the knot through, but then you string it through that way. As you string the bungee through, you're going to notice it's going to get really tight. So you'll have to reach back behind you and stretch it out a little bit to be able to make it through the whole circuit or the whole weave. All right? And then you want to balance out the tightness of the bungee so that it seems to be pretty equal across all the strands. Okay, I hope you noticed the weave. We started with uh, this uh, eye screw here. Now we're gonna weave across the other way. So we have 90 degree angles, right? So we're making a square, small squares. I'm gonna start at this eye screw here, and then I'm gonna weave it down. And remember, we're only going up one eye screw, and then down, and just over one, except for the beginning. So ultimately, you're going to want the square grid pattern of bungee to cross so that you'd be able to put cups in all the intersections. And you can adjust the pattern. Notice I left a wide opening on one end, just in case you wanted an easier start or more options. But the idea is to get that grid pattern all across, slide it through all the eye screws and the sides, and then clip them at the ends with your snap links. And that is the basic setup for the bungee box or house trap activity.